With the carnival and Halloween coming up in Germany, we would like to talk about some disturbing traditions. Have you ever seen kids wearing costumes that look like this? In our previous video where we talked about the cowboys and Native American song, we talked about how certain events in history are grossly oversimplified and therefore extremely disrespectful to certain cultures. The song's a lively chorus encourages listeners to get their lasso out, a phrase that can be linked to cowboys tying up Native Americans, something that is largely popularized by Western films today. Such things are not a reflection of actual historical events, which is the genuine tragedies faced by indigenous populations. Keep in mind one specific example where European settlers killed up to 56 million indigenous people. Such reductionist portrayals, whether in movies or in songs, they run the risk of sidelining the real identities and the real struggles of Native Americans, all for entertainment. The cultural insensitivity does not stop with these songs or these films. Take for an example the misuse of Native American symbols in children's games. In Berlin today, there are several totem statues all over the kids' playground. Take for example the one that is right behind me at the kids' playground in Wuchspark, Friedrichshain. You will find kids tying one another up on them. Encouraging children to tie each other to the totem poles perpetuates harmful stereotypes. The totem pole, a sacred symbol for certain indigenous nations of the Pacific Northwest, is stripped of its cultural and spiritual significance when used as a prop for play. By making these actions very playful, the gravity and the pain associated with these acts in real historical contexts are dangerously downplayed. Real life consequences of such misrepresentations can be seen in various parts of society today. For example, the carnival and Halloween are coming up soon and boy do people go out with their costumes and the parade floats. While the carnival floats and the costumes aim to be humorous and reflective of current sentiments, their direct and often over-exaggerated approach can clash with individuals, feelings, beliefs, cultures, and experiences. Floats and even the costumes that are worn might sometimes use broad stereotypes to represent different cultures or groups. Toy stores have commodified Native American culture by selling costumes featuring sacred items. Such commodification and trivialization can perpetuate the idea that the Native American identity is merely a theme or costume devoid of its real historical and cultural significance. These symbols, these games, these narratives that we pass down have power, power to harm, the power to misinform, power to perpetuate stereotypes. We hold the power to change, to educate, and to forge a path of understanding, and most importantly, a path of respect. We can redefine the narratives for future generations. We can ensure that they are rooted in truth, in respect, and in empathy. Do better. Until next time.